The superior gluteal artery perforator tissue reconstruction, or SGAP flap, uses tissue from the upper buttocks to create breast tissue. This is usually done if patients do not have adequate skin and tissue in their abdomens, or have had previous abdominal surgeries that may have interfered with blood vessels that the deep flap requires. Breast plastic and reconstructive surgeons at Johns Hopkins also pioneered the lateral septal gluteal artery perforator, also known as the LSGAP, a modification of the SGAP procedure. This flap procedure does not take tissue from the central area of the buttock, which may leave the buttocks indented, but instead lifts the lateral thigh and buttock area while better preserving more natural contours. An incision is made on the side of the buttocks around the skin, fat, and blood vessels that will be used to reconstruct the breast. The tissue is separated from the buttock muscle and removed. It is then transplanted into the breast pocket. Blood vessels from the tissue are connected to blood vessels in the chest to provide blood circulation for the new breast. Small surgical drains are inserted for your body's natural healing fluid. This results in a scar on the newly reconstructed breast and a scar on the upper buttocks. The length of the surgery varies in different women. However, generally the surgery lasts four to six hours per breast. Patients are usually in the hospital for about three nights and can return to work in approximately four to six weeks. While at home, you will be able to do most activities of daily living. Heavy lifting or strenuous activities should be avoided until six weeks following your surgery. In most circumstances, the drains will be removed in one to two weeks. Soreness will persist for about a week or two, but you will begin to improve every day. It is important to note that high volume centers like Johns Hopkins tend to have lower complication rates and shorter hospital stays for S-gap flap reconstruction compared to lower volume centers. Often you will require one or more revision surgeries after your S-gap flap in order to make your breasts as symmetric and natural looking as possible. These revisions can include breast lifts to match the breast shape and location, fat grafting, nipple reconstruction, and an areola tattoo. Your plastic surgeon will do everything possible to make your breasts look and feel as natural as possible. You should discuss all of your concerns with your plastic and reconstructive team, as well as your expectations for your post-surgery appearance and recovery. We can also show you photos of other patients' results.